Hi, thanks for joining me on another program of Painting with Tali, your art collection. Today we're going to do a Raphael, or something in the Raphael style. Raphael was one of the um, major leading artists in the Renaissance period. He came later on um, from Michelangelo and uh, Leonardo. They were neck and neck in s as far as their quality of painting is concerned. Raphael had a wonderful way of composing. And today I was looking at a Raphael because I'm on right now doing a commission uh, job with a very nice, very dear friend of mine, uh, Virginia, Virginia Ball. She, um, she has a company called Classical Illusions and we're doing uh, a special project that involves a lot of Renaissance figurative uh, anatomy work. And um, I wanted my face to occupy this much of the canvas. I want to make sure about that. And of course, the neck will come here. This is the chin. This is how much of the neck and back of the neck. And then, right here is the hand and the little thumb. As you can see, I'm using canvas board. And I added an extension of masking tape to my charcoal stem. I use the Grombacher 40, number 40. That's the one that works for me. And I want to thank the people at Colinor, the makers of uh, Grombacher products, uh, for donating some materials. I do the sockets of the eyes and the nose, how it's coming down. The face is facing down. So I would find a geometry that I need, the ears around this area, and of course, I start putting in the details. But that's how I start geometrically to do the painting or the, the first sketch composition. I'll be taking this off. And throw that away. We'll get one that's already been made. And as you can see, uh, our, our drawing is all done. We're very, very detailed. Uh, sometimes um, when, you, when you're doing your charcoal, now this has been sprayed once with the Grombacher Misten Workable Fixative, okay? We sprayed it once already. And this is like a tool. This is the one that's going to set your spray, uh, it's going to set your charcoal, and you can glaze over it without, because it's water soluble. It's, I mean, it's water, non, well, it doesn't mess up with water. I mean, it stays there when you, the pigment stays, and you can glaze over it. Not water soluble. Okay. So, there are some areas where I want more depth, more, more chiaroscuro, so that I can achieve. See, I'm going over again on here. So I can achieve depth there. Now the eyes, I wanted that those eyes to show more. So now, see, I get deeper lights. Um, I wanted this, the root of the hair around here to show more. Deeper lights there for me. And the ear to show a little bit more of the ear design. So as you can see, sometimes it may be Oh, just a little too deep that you don't want it too deep, the tone. And you can just brush off with a dry brush to get the effect that you need. Okay, that's what I wanted as far as, oh, the edges here a little bit on the mouth. Okay, and back here. Nice and deep right there, uh, here also. So you find all those details and of course you spray over that. So it fixes in very, 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 very well. That's what we want. Okay. 
we're going to give the super highlight whites. Now, in one of these containers that, you know, when you, since you take a lot of photographs, when you're an artist, you have to take a lot of photographs of your artwork so that galleries will reject you left and right. Oh, one thing I want to talk to you about galleries. Sure, you go into a gallery, they say, oh no, it's not what we want, we don't want you, you know. Uh, but that's not every single gallery, so you've got to go into one gallery after the other, okay? Because you're going to be rejected more than anything else. Um, right now, I used my liquid white, I mixed it in one of these uh, empty little cartridges of where film, you know, comes in. And, and I want to bring out a little bit of highlights on the hair, see, and here. Probably here on the lid, you know. Yeah. There on the lid, that's working for me. And on the lips, a little bit of shine on the lips, a little bit of on the nose, on the bridge of the nose. Okay. Oh, here's, okay, a piece of material that she has up there. And see how you bring it out? Uh, the nail here. Uh, the gauze about her garment. There's some gauze on that garment. So this is what I, I'm doing. I'm bringing this out. Okay. And a little bit of light back here too. Probably more than I need it, so that's how I dab off. A little bit of light here, light there. Um, okay, a little bit there. Sh uh, glimmer on the hair. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, while that is drying, we're going to do the background of it. And I know that I'm going to need a yellow type of situation. So I'm using a very pale yellow, the coolest yellow I can right now. That's the Hansa Yellow Light, the finest from Grombacher. Uh, and of course, before you're drawing, you use the kneaded rubber eraser when you want to do some effects with that. You know, in a half hour show, I can't tell you all the effects. It's just, it's very difficult. Um, so. Yeah, it's just like a million things, a million things. Uh, so, there's some light that I want to use, I, yellow, and that yellow has to go into a blue, very, 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 very pale blue. Um, how I want that Raphael to look, a little bit of violet about it, too. Uh, for the background. I'm right now composing the background and kind of deciding what it's going to do. Always have two sponges. Uh, one sponge to dab your brushes and absorb excess water and the other one for erasing. I'm going to be using one uh, here for extending color actually. So here we go. And over here with the uh, light hands of yellow. We're going to do almost, almost like a fresco. This is on canvas. This particular painting is on canvas. So, so here, sponges blend beautifully. Of course, yellow is very discreet. You never can really boob, you know, mess it up with yellow that much, you know. Um, now, a little bit of fuchsia in there. For some reason, I want a little bit of fuchsia. And we've got 17 seconds, 17 minutes, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, yes, 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 yes. 
yes, definitely. Definitely, the more burntness of the orange, uh-huh, definitely doing it for me. Um, wash that out well. The blue, just a hint. The blue is a hint, just a hint. So the blue is a hint. Because this particular figure that I saw in um, the Raphael was the background of it was very light. Okay. <sighs> okay, and I want to go with more violet about it. Oops, see that? You don't want that? Take it right off. Oh, yeah. Over here, more red, red, red. Put a little dabby there and make the dabby move. Okay, now more exciting yellow. More exciting yellow. Deep, deep, deep. Really, really weird. Flamey, flamey yellow. Flamey, flamey, flamey. Although the hair is going to be kind of almost that color, we don't want to make it exactly so it can blend with the hair. Ah, uh, lovely. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Uh-huh, mess that up, baby. Don't want that part. See, this is the clean part. This is the one that I'm, you got to use it for your erasing part and your, and your blending part. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, but, wait. More yellow on that area. Oh, yes. Yes. Blending beautifully. Oh, yes, yes, flamey. Uh-huh. Okay. Doing it, doing it. Yes. Give me that effect. Now, clean, clean. Clean this area. Well, that's going to be a greenish tone anyway. Okay. Okay, oh, 13 minutes. Oh, beautiful. Okay, the gods are here. Okay. Plus, uh, Raphael, you know, I, um, he, he, he was a party animal, this kid. I mean, he, he died early 30s or something. Very, very young. I'm not too, too sure. Uh, but anyway, that looks absolutely fabulous. Of course, he was very spoiled uh, because when you're such a genius at that period of time, uh, you get to have everything you want. Um, okay, darling, where are we, sweetie? Um, yeah, uh, we need uh, burnt sienna. Baby, we are working on the skin now. I'm starting to get a headache. Other TV shows never say this because other TV shows are more phony. Um, okay. So when I did my Raphael today, you know, I didn't have time to make a model. I mean, to, to, to have, because not, I wasn't going to rip up the book. It's from the library, you know, um, to have it here. So it's in my mind. So I just recorded it in my mind the model. So I know, you know, the colors that it's supposed to be. Plus anyway, when I record something in my mind, it's, it comes out more original, a little more diff a little different, instead of just copying directly. 
Okay, sweetie. Let's. I make sure when I have a sponge that I'm that I'm using for skin that I only use that one for skin. Uh huh. Yes, baby. Oh yes. Okay, the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter is colliding colliding with Mars right now, darling. And I need to go on a diet. I haven't been in front of the camera for a while. I mean, it puts like 10 pounds on you. I look like you have to take me out to a luau with an apple in my mouth. Rush me there, for heaven's sakes. Oh, beauty, oh, keeping young, it's, 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 it's a hassle. Well, it's nice, I mean, when you, when you really go through the trouble, you work at it, you know, it's nice. But gee, you don't get it for free like when you were in your 20s. You gotta work for it, you gotta earn everything now. Okay, baby, okay, 10 minutes. Just getting a little more darkness to her, to her skin, sweetie. Okay. Okay, she's absolutely fabulous. Now, um, oh, you know, the, the cheek tone. I might as well be on a certain RNG for it, you know, because you have to be on a certain RNG for it. I'm not going to be mixing an orange from the fuchsia and the yellow that I got here. So on the cheek tone, well, maybe a little tiny bit of fuchsia. And, of course, back again with the burnt sienna. Wet a little bit. Okay, smudge here, take a lot of moisture out of it because she, from what I remember, hold on baby, from what I remember, she had great, she had a lot of rouge where she had these cheeks. Now, I want to put them in without harming the paint, you know, blending in. Okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh-huh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Okay, sweetie, hold on. Okay, baby. Okay. Um, getting in the lips. Uh-huh, getting in the lips. Getting in that chin, a little bit on that chin. Okay. She was very rosy on those cheeks. Very rosy on those cheeks. Let's get the details here. And the, right here I'm worrying about the, the finals, but in the camera, I mean, over the camera on their monitor, it looks, it looks much better. Okay. Oh, deeps, 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 deeps. Um, let's go to that hair. Let's go to the hair right now. And the hair right now, I need a burnt sienna, not burnt sienna, raw umber, my darling. Where is raw umber? Sweetie, I got it. Raw umber, darling. Raw umber for that hair, and we have eight minutes. Glazing. See, this is what we do as glaze, as we glaze, as we glaze. Okay, more raw umber. Glaze it, glaze it. More raw umber here. This is a piece of hair. Uh huh as we glaze, as we glaze. Glazing is this transparency. Paint is you're covering over. You're painting over, you're blocking it, you're disappearing it. Glazing is transparency. Glazing is not the same as painting. We're not painting, we are glazing. Okay, we have 
six minutes. Sweetie, six minutes. Am I going to finish this on time in six minutes? I don't know. Let's continue. Okay, too, too much. We'll see, see, see the mixing. See, the mixing makes me spend so much time. Okay. And probably, okay, she, we're glazing here. Okay, um, we got to do the hand, that hand there, we didn't do that hand, I was busy with everything else and did not do her hand, her thumb and hand here. Did that really quickly, and yellow, uh, was it yellow this one, yeah, it's going to be yellow right there, we need a deeper yellow though. Oh my God, got too much of that fuchsia. Now the yellow is too, 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 too deep. Uh, I got to, okay. Okay. Yellow. And what was that other one? Green, honey. You got to be so careful with the yellows and the greens, you know. A, a little bit of blue goes a long way when you're just tinting a certain color of blue to, to yellow or green or whatever. Um, I want it more turquoise. See, I'm, I'm, I'm out of color, to totally out of the color range that I want. Okay, four minutes. But it looks good. Okay. And this thing here, I don't know what it's going to be. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. It was a really deep green. See, I don't have a model. I am going by memory of this thing. I didn't have time to go uh, color Xerox the book so I can snip it out and have it here. No, I didn't have time for that. So, I'm not talking anymore, baby. I only have four minutes. I can't talk and explain anymore, sweetie. Okay. Pleats, baby. Pleats. Pleats about this, honey. Pleats. 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 The pleats. Uh-huh. Pleats, sweetie. Sweetie. Uh, pleats. Who cares about the pleats right now? Okay. Uh, we need that tiny little skinny brush. Where was it? Okay. Um, we kind of have to put eyebrows in it. We have three minutes. Oh, my God. Okay. We're putting eyebrows in her. Okay. And um, that little turban thing that she has we got to get in there with some, we're using some fuchsia here. I don't want to talk. I don't have time to talk. Okay. God, why does the ear doesn't look as good as I want it to look? Okay. Um, where were we? Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, the super shadows of the face. Yes, the super shadows of the face. Blending, blending, blending. The super shadows of the face. <sighs> what do I mean by super shadows, baby? That is my own language. It's so private. Uh, two minutes. Okay. Okay, a clean area. Clean area. Okay. Here we go again with the super shadows. Okay, clean, clean, clean. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
I remember when I did the Princess Diana one. That was a miracle. I don't know how it came out. Um, okay. Okay. Now, we, now we're painting. We're painting over, as you can see. This is a creamy paint. The highlight on the nose, the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna. I'm coming back on my highlights, and on the highlight of the ear area here. Bring that ear out and little, little knobs of the ear, uh, and um, we're gonna highlight a little bit on, on that turban. A little bit on the turban here, and a little bit here on that. Okay, so we're ready to sign this. Let's sign it here. T A L I 99. And thanks for joining me today. And don't forget to join me in another program Painting with Tali, your art collection. Thank you, Graphic Dimensions, for your donation of frames. I'd like to thank monks for their professional service and support in our downtown community located at 47 East Gay Street. Thank you again, Graphic Dimensions, for your donation of frames. Thank you, Koenor, for your donation of professional art materials, distributors of Grombacher products. I'd like to thank monks for their professional service and support in our downtown community located at 47 East Gay Street. Thank you again, and Graphic Dimensions, for your donation of frames. Thank you, Koenor, for your donation of professional art materials.
we're doing the area where that gorgeous Buddha is. I took a photograph of it, but I'm going to interpret this in a painting where it doesn't have that fence around it, that wooden fence around it. So we're making it, make it, it, make it, it into a very nice landscape kind of painting. As you can see, I have already, with some of the charcoal stem, um, did some of the drawing. And today, I'm going to do a little bit of charcoal um, demonstration for you. What I did is get the charcoal stem and, you know, you people who have watched the Tali show for years, know that I get charcoal stem and wrap it around with uh, my um, masking tape. So I don't have to hold the charcoal directly because it's very brittle and can break. So we have my example picture here. Okay, and we are, of course, doing those trees. There's some trees out there. They had beautiful bamboo and trees and it's just so, so gorgeous out there. See how lighter this one is since it's been sprayed already? And then when you go with your spray over it, over the charcoal that you sprayed, it, get, it gives, gives more of a depth, darker and darker. So you control your claro oscuro, as you say in Spanish, or in Italian, charo oscuro. Darks and lights is what that means in English, the darks and lights. So here we go as I am doing your um, kind of leaves or that effect, the optical effect of distant trees. That is what's happening. And of course, this area gets dark. That area gets dark, darker for you. This area here also starts getting dark, 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 dark. Okay, and then we need more tree stomps, tree effect, tree effect, tree effect, and more up here. I, we know that the tree opens up with sky around here, and then, of course, the, the rest of our paint is going to fix that up for us. I just want to show you how, how I do the little dibby dabbies here of the charcoal stem. This is charcoal stem, which is carbonated stem. It's not, a, it's not the carbonation of a dole, of a wooden dole, you know? Because it has to be a stem from a twig, from a plant growing, and then they carb and then they turn into carbon. Like they burn the hell out of it, you know. It turns black, and that's be it, so it's carbonized, and so that gives you a creamier pencil. I mean, a creamier instrument to work with. See, it's the only way. It has to be like that. It has to be charcoal vine. The word is vine stem, charcoal vine. Because they make other charcoal stems out of just a dole, a wooden dole that they carbonize. I mean, that they burn the hell out of it, and, and it's not the same thing. It doesn't work the same. Tali, don't do that. Okay? You want to know the Tali method, method you got to... Okay, we've got 22 minutes. Okay, I wanted to show you that, and I wanted to show you how you can start doing, like, your shadows. So right here, they have shadows from the trees. Shadows of the trees, shadows of the trees. And the thing about that is that you can get like a dry brush, which I don't have one near here immediately, but I got one anyway. Um, see, if you want, if you want, for example, here we go. Softer shadows from those brush strokes, from the, from the strokes of your um, charcoal. Okay, that's what's happening. Right here, I want it softer because that shadow, 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 and I can get other types of effects. With dry brush, we go over with a dry brush, we can get different effects. Okay, we come from ashes, we go to ashes, whatever the thing was. Okay, look, you can create anything you want. It's absolutely incredible, this charcoal uh, system that I use, where you put your darks and light, it's like coloring a photograph, like a Polaroid cam, like a Polaroid starts developing in front of you. Okay, so okay, that's, that's fine. We get, the, we get the spray. Okay, you spray, you fix it. All right. So, okay, we just wait till that um, gets um, a little bit fixed there. And uh, we're going to work probably in getting more darker crevice. Where do we need darker crevice? We need darker crevice here. This has been already sprayed prior, okay? So that gives us darker crevice there. Darker, darker, like charo oscuro going on. Charo Oscuro going on. I hope I don't have my head in the camera so far. I got, a, I got somebody here snapping at me if I do. So far, I guess I haven't. I haven't heard any snaps. Right, Soraya? <laughs> okay. Um, 
There we did that. That was wonderful there. It has like a shadow here. How much? We've got 20 minutes. Okay. Um, okay, 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 okay. We need more definition here of that. Of that kind of halo, whatever has this thing around it. Okay, more definition of that. And we are softening. We're spraying again. Okay. See? See how you start building up? And you know, like I don't have all the time in the world to do this on a show because on top of it, I got to color this thin baby. All right. So, but we're doing a little bit of more branches coming out from nowhere. It doesn't really matter. You know, nature can be very abstract to the eye. That is okay. Uh-huh, we got some definite little leaves, definite little leaves. I want some definite little leaves, <laughs> little leaves. Definite little leaves. Yes, yes, to go with those. Okay, and um, right here, where, where, where are we going? Okay, okay. We need a little bit more of that. I got, that's 19 minutes. All right. Okay. Okay, okay, blending, blending, blending. Let me blend. Let me blend this. Let me blend this. It's too harsh, too hard. I don't want it too harsh, too hard. Are we getting somewhere? I think so. Ah, uh, over here. Okay. Effects that I need, effects that I need, effects that I need, effects that I need. Okay. Uh huh, somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. We need a bigger brush to blend. All right. And there are all different types of brushes that, that I use for, for blending if I want the shadows to get softer or whatever. Okay. Um, right here, I think some brushes, some bushes, some brushes, some brush, bushes, brushes, effect of that. Okay. Let me get some shadow about it. Okay. Let me get some shadow about it, baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me get some shadow about this. Give it distance, depth, depth and distance somewhere. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. So today you're getting more of a, of a drawing type of situation here for you. Boy, these cameras must be set out really very well. I haven't heard one snap from me, my head getting in front of the camera. How wonderful. Do you see that sometimes the moon is in the heaven, seventh house and Jupiter is colliding with Mars at times, like when you do this show. Okay. Uh, this is a round brush that I'm using right now. But it's doing it for me, doing it for me, sweetie. Look at that. Okay, doing it, baby, doing it. Uh-huh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, can we spray again? Mm-hmm, let's spray that. And then from here on, you know, I am coloring this in. Now, you know, yeah, now, there's another step, like you put the super white highlights on it, but I'm, one, I'm not gonna be doing the super white hi highlights right now. I'm glazing, 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 somehow glazing. Okay, we're glazing and we want kind of like some violet tonality. Very well, we have that violet tonality done for us. And um, here we go, here we go. See, we need the Buddha to have that tonality because, uh, well, because it has to have that tonality. Here we go with the violet tonality on that Buddha. And you know what? Um, See, it goes all over it beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. Fabulous. So this is glazing that Buddha. Okay. Absolutely fabulous. Now, you know, my best effects come out on this canvas, on, the, on this uh, ready-made canvas board. It's incredible. All my best effects come out on it. Okay. Now, there's something about going over with the sponge. It just makes it much, much better. It just makes it absolutely fabulous. Though you're gonna have uh, around here, that's okay, that's okay. Get a little bit of brown because we're doing the floor. 
we're doing the floor, so we're getting a little bit of brown for the floor. Beautiful, beautiful brown. Because I, I took a photo of this, so you know, I'm kind of looking at my photo, kind of looking at that, getting the floor on here with a little bit of the red. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, so sponge again, baby. See, sponge makes everything just turn out fine. Yeah. Uh-huh, see? See, it gives you that. And um, uh, we can probably go a little bit of purple, a little bit of red in here. Let me get that beautiful red, which quinacridion, I can't read it. Why do they put these terrible names on it? I can't read it. I'm sorry. It's not what, I'm sorry. Why don't you just give it like, you know, when they do cosmetic lines, they do tawny red, you know, uh, or the, the, they just put easy, like, melon passion. Why can't they do this with, they have to put kind of colobian beliefs. You can't even do anything. I mean, you can't even, what the hell? Hello? Okay, so. I'm sorry, my sponsors have to put up with me. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have these kind of like violets. Violets, 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 violets. Uh-huh, do we, can we got 12, 12 minutes. Is that what I want? Actually, I do not know. I do not know, I do not know. I need some probably more blue, more red. What do we need, more brown? Uh-huh, I'm with a big, I'm, I'm with a big, what is this, what is this? What, what's, what's happening, what is this? Where are we going, what is this? What is this, what is this? Do these look like spotlight shadowies on floor? Do they look, you know, what, you know what it is about painting? You just go at it. It's like marriage, you don't have a guarantee. Is this person gonna be a jerk? Oh, does it turn into, uh, you know, a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde afterwards? Yeah, you know, after you say I do, then you say I won't. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, where are we? Is that, does this look like some kind of uh, leaf shadowy stuff? Does it? I don't know. Hello? Okay, do we sponge? Does sponge help us? Can sponge, ha can, can our friendly sponge help us today? Hmm? Huh? Can it? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Okay, it's going to have to do that for the moment, and we're going to go, um, we're going to go with the uh, greens, greens, somehow, somehow the greens around here. We have 11 minutes. Man, these colors are so strange. They're never what you expect it to be. I'm not getting transparency from it, but they're very pretty. This one's very pretty. Okay. Okay. Okay, green, green, green. Okay, all this stuff is green. All that stuff is green. Oh, all this, all this, all this, all this, all of this, all of this, all of that. Okay. Oh, we got some some purple left uh, left over on that brush, baby. Who cares? I didn't wash it completely. Okay. All this. Okay. This is green. This is green. This is green. Green. I remember I did another one of the, Jap oh, the Japanese garden where the, um, um, there, oh, where there was, uh, uh, there's so many areas there. I forgot what that, I, I, I don't have the name for that area. I don't know the name of that area. But I made it into a pond, you know, and a doe and whatever, you know, it was a, there was, a, there's just so many areas out there about the garden. Uh, I forgot this, uh, well, this other area had sculptured trees or something. It came out so beautiful, that painting. I remember, I mean, it came out so beautiful, but I didn't get enough close-ups on it. I was very, up, you know, the problem with that painting is I didn't get enough close-ups on it. I mean, it turned out so beautiful, but it was like uh, too many uh, one camera, camera one shots, you know, and uh, I, I like getting some close-up shots. So you'd see what's going on, nine minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna do some blue here. I'm having hard, okay. I'm gonna do some blue on that, about that. Oh, 
Went over on it, sweetie. Hold on. Okay. Okay, then, then we're going to sculpt. Uh, see, see, what I did was get the general color around it, the gener generality, the general stuff. I don't want to talk. Um, okay, so my career is in America, and I had to be in front of the TV set. Okay, that's the only way. Consumer. Oh, all right. Okay, eight minutes. Uh huh, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, a little bit of blue there. Okay, a little bit of blue there. Um, okay, I'm on this thing here. I got to make something about this. Something about this. Something about it. Got to put this gray in it. Yes, yes. Yes, the gods are with me now. Yes, the gray had to go in because the Buddha was too purple. Uh-huh, perfect. Okay. Okay. The Buddha was too purple or something. Uh-huh. So, okay. Um, and, um, okay, now I'm going to go with, with, uh, I don't want to talk. I just don't want to talk right now. I'm doing a painting half hour with a rocket up my back. <laughs> um, so here we go. Okay, dots, 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 dots. Is, 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 is it shining? Do I have shine on this? Because we're cutting if it shines. Do we have shine? Is it not shining? Will somebody answer me? Is it shining? Is that shining? Is there any shine? Okay. Okay. Okay, so that is what we need. All right. Uh, some brown about the tree trunks. Because right now I'm, I'm looking at this canvas and it's, shi it's shining on me. I'm glad, I'm, you know, it's, well, for, for me it is. And so I, when it isn't, you never know when it's doing it for the public. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to be careful about. Okay. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got this, this, this. You know, I got to dab that, dab that. Blot this, blot, 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 blot. It has a lot of wetness about it. Okay. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? We got six minutes. Oh, here's a nice brown tree. All right. And then there's going to come a part, there's going to be an area of the painting. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk right now. I mean, I really don't. Uh, OK, you know, I'm, I'm trying to give birth to cesarean here, you know. My hips are locked. <laughs> OK. All right, I need the whites to come in. I need the whites to come in. I need the whites to come in. I need the whites. I got to get the whites. I got to get the whites, the whites. OK, we're doing the greens. OK, we're doing the greens, the greens. Okay, I need the whites to come in. All right, okay, so we want the whites to come in, but at the same time, I have a brush with some really deep purple on it. So it's gonna give me all these effects that I need to do to my, to my drawing. And then when I need the whites, I do the whites also. So we're doing charo oscuro with the brush. That's what's going on. I'm using the finger here just to blend what I need about it. Okay, so. Here we go, here we go. Now, we need to make it define 
The Buddha is the Buddha edges define. I'm not using my drawing anymore. I'm not looking at it anymore because I know what I need to do. I mean, because because on the canvas, I'm now in control of the canvas. So, so that is 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 getting defined on that. As it gets defined on it, I go with the sponge down like that. It blends inside. Okay, and 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 these def definitions about it here, that definition on the face on that Buddha. Okay, we gotta. I know I said about going into the whites, but we're not going in, but, you know, I'm right now involved with the blacks. Although I got one with white here ready to go. But I'm involved with the blacks. You never know what's going to happen, so. Okay, I'm involved here, here. Okay. All right. Here we going down here, baby, down here, baby. I just want to get the edges out fine. We got four minutes. Okay. Okay, I want to get the edges about it fine, going fine for me, blot too heavy. Okay, now right now we are getting these little edges of it. We're trimming, 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 trimming about it, trimming about it. We need some greenery. Some greenery, greenery around here on that. We got three minutes. Some greenery around here. And now some sky about it. There's sky about it, sky about it coming through here. Sky about it. Okay, sky about it. Now we're on the super, we're on the blue skies. Okay, blue skies. Peakies through the bushes. We're on the peakies through the bushes. We need the peakies. Okay, about those bushes there. Okay. See, now this, uh, this is what we're doing. We're not glazing now, we are painting. We're painting over painting covers 100%. It doesn't get transparency, it's okay. So this is uh, how you lift, lift and come, I mean, how you lift, I don't wanna talk. I do not wanna talk. I don't wanna talk. I, I hate talking. I hate talking. I just put myself in front of the TV camera to become the most famous artist in town, okay? Only reason. Think I'm happy being here? I'm not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get all upset and worried. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm really not the happy artist. <laughs> all right. Okay. We got two minutes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. That's looking like I don't know what. Uh, but you know, uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Over here, it needs some white ones. We got two minutes. Over here, it needs some white ones. Some white ones about the sky there. Here some definite white ones about the sky. This is all an optical. This is all optical, sweetie, all optical. You know, sometimes I think it's absolutely horrible when I'm seeing here, but when it gets on the monitor, it's, it's much better. Okay, okay, it's much better. All right, um, with that Buddha, we need super white here with showing the little hand and super white here on the face and the, the feature area about it. Yes, baby, yes, yes, yes. And super white coming about the edge of this and the edge of that. We've got to dip down again. Always dipping down again. It's not like, a, you know, I mean, you've got to dip down, dip and paint, dip and paint, dip and paint. That's how it is. Um, you know, some people just are surprised that I am not romantic at all with this thing. Um, okay. And ah, uh, we got one minute. Okay, see? Okay, beautiful! We're getting somewhere. Sweetie, now we need some drapery accent about it here. Uh, some drapery accent there. Only where I'm seeing super highlight of it, I'm copying super highlight of it, okay? I'm copying the language of the light on this solid. This is a solid object. Everything on Earth can only be seen because it has light on it. Light is, 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 like, is, is, is like posed on it. That's the only way you can see it, okay? So there's lights on gases and solids. And um, so this is a solid, and these are just the lights that I am seeing randomly, randomly, randomly. And that's, that's how I'm getting the effect of, uh, of an image that, you know, that your eyes saw when they were young and brand new, and you can see it clearer. But when you're older, then you can't see it so well but you kind of know the figurative shape of it. So that's the romantic part of a painting. The romantic part of a painting is the interpretation of what you saw physically with your eye and uh, interpret that. 
interpret that and in, in, the, in the figurative form, and then Impressionism started to do that. Oh, shut up! Impressionism started to do that, but when they saw um, what the mechanical eye of the camera did. Now, nobody tells you this in school, okay? They just don't tell you this in school. You know, because I believe that if you're going to teach school, you better be 40 years old to really teach those kids something. Because if you've been, like, if you were, like, teaching at school, like, in some college, and you started, like, at, like in your late 20s after, I mean, like, your late 20s after you graduated, what are you going to show those kids? You're not going to show those kids anything. You haven't been through boot camp? Excuse me? Okay. Where am I going? i got to get out of here now. Um, yes, this is beautiful now, and uh, boy, man, do I have to get out of here. Okay, i got to sign this thing. I have the other one here. I, I have not been able really to finish this thing. I'm not that happy. Okay, so it's T-A-L-I-99. Yeah, that already rang. Okay, so remember, darlings, it's going to be me, the canvas, the camera, and all you wonderful people out there in the suburbs. This is Tali signing off. I'd like to thank monks for their professional service and support in our downtown community located at 47 East Gay Street. I'd like to thank G. Michaels Italian American Bistro and Bar for their community support in the downtown area located at 595 South 3rd Street in German Village. Thank you, Graphic Dimensions, for your donation of today's frame. I'd like to thank Michael Garcia of Michael Garcia's Hair Salons, 2440 East Main Street, for their services in hairstyle.